Oh, well, I came here to America and um, I was 11 years old. And um, I used to, um, the first thing when we, when we got here, the first hour, there was a Christian woman she, who came into our house mm. and had this big turkey, actually two turkeys. And she had this big food dinner for us and she brought it in and she took my mom right away to Julosco to buy us food. And she said, I'm, uh, this is, I'm a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked what volunteer meant because I didn't know English back then. And um, when our um, our neighbor spoke Arabic and English, told us what she does, and he was Christian. His name is Wayne, mm. and he he told us she's only a volunteering. And I keep asking myself, why is she volunteering? A volunteer at doing the church? Yes. Or, okay. And she does ev all this for church. I, I was shocked. I mean, volunteering pays, and she paid back then f more than two hundred dollars for only Jew Oscar groceries. Yeah. That's different than the food. And every day she start bringing us backpacks to school supplies and she started taking us to Chicago and giving us new clothes and everything. And I started liking this woman. And every Sunday we went to church. It was on Blanchard and Roosevelt with um, our friend. And so was the church in English or Arabic? It was it was in English, but so one of the uh, one no. of the women she was translating. Translating for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, since then I started I start saying if this is a religion and this is a religion, then So you start um, comparing between Islam and Christianity through the treatment oh, yeah. you saw the love you saw uh, from Christians in America in Wheaton mm -hmm. uh, in particular. And um, since I saw a lot of religious and a lot of stuff, and I said, you know what, I only believe in one thing, which is God. So and I don't want either Jesus in my life or Muhammad or anybody. So what was, when was the breaking point? Well, we, my mom met Pastor Hisham, and uh, mm. we had, he made a, a church. It's called um, Salam. Salam Fellowship Church. And... Uh, I, we start going every Saturday, but I used to go there to see our friends. I, well, people they used to go to listen to him. I used to go see our like friends of us. That's when we usually see them and have fun. But one day, and I can't forget this day, and that was three months ago. Yeah. I was invited to Pastor Hisham's house, and his wife was was starting out telling me that five years you guys been going to church, you never had any question. And I was really mad. I told her, even if I had that question, would you be able to answer my question? And she said, yes. I, I can answer all the question and show you proof that I'm right. And I told her, okay. And the only question that was in my mind was, why they say God and Son and the Holy Spirit? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I say, okay, then why do you say all three of them? And she told me, in Arab, don't, if you're from Palestine, we say your daughter of Palestine, as like you're from there, but Palestine didn't really give you a birth. That's in Arabic, like the son of Beirut, son yeah. of Wheaton, son of Lebanon, yeah. In and Arabic, and she said, it, it kind of like Hebrew. Yeah, and I told her, yeah, it's true. She said, so, but Palestine didn't give you a birth, and he said, no, Palestine didn't give me a birth. She said, exactly. So you un you understood that uh, Jesus is a, a spiritually the son of God, not yes. a physical, you know, birth. Yes, because all Muslims used to say that they say that he gave him, like Miriam gave him birth, and they used to say, oh my God, no, God was never married. And I was yeah. like, yeah, it's right. So How, we, we do believe it? that Mary, and you believe that Mary, Virgin, the Virgin Mary, gave birth to Jesus Christ, but he, she conceived from the Holy Spirit. Yes, right. and yeah. that's what I believe too. That's yeah. exactly so what I mean. So not a physical, uh, you know, uh, relationship. No. So that was really the main question the you main had. The main question. And I had a lot of questions. She answered them, and she told me about Muslim, the stories of Muhammad that I nev nobody ever, ever told me about. And then I started searching, and she tried, and she helped me, actually. And finally, I decided to get baptized, and I want the pastor to came to baptize me and I was baptized on November 24th, 2012.